Once you have finished your analysis, you can create a print of your map, a print layout. You will have to open the new print layout for that. Give it a unique name, for example, farms with boreholes. And this is the view that you'll use to create a print layout. At present, it is in landscape view. You can change that by right-clicking, saying page properties and portrait. There's my layout. And then you can add your elements, for example. You can add your map, what you were working on in the previous view. You can add a north arrow using an image. You'll have to go through search directories and select the arrow you'd like to have. For example, there's my north arrow. You can add a scale bar, which you can set to be in feet, and it will, your, it will change as well while you do that. So your scale bar can be in feet. We'll keep it in kilometers. And for this instance, you can add a legend as well. Simply draw it in and have all the properties that you'd like that you have in other GIS, for example, you can have multiple columns, Let's say columns, and your view will change. For example, you can have a view like that. whatever you wish it to look like. You can also add a title to your map. For example, you want to add some text, add item, and you can add anything you'd like, really. You can add a label. Farms with boreholes, select the main properties there. Farms with boreholes. You can change the font, make it bold as well. There you can see it changing. You can have it in the center, of the middle, frame. As well, you can also give it a background, for example, like that. You can center it like that. You can also change the individual legend properties. You can do that by taking off the auto update option. It gives you a little bit more control over what you can do inside the legend. For example, I don't actually want to show the open street map, so I can remove it and my legend will then be associatedly smaller because it's no longer part of my legend display. I can also add any kind of metadata. For example, I can say who the author is, the year, the datum, the projection, so WGS 84, LO 27, which is 2019. And you include that in your map. You can also, of course, align various elements with each other. So you can distribute them along the centers, you can align them, align them along the center, you can align the individual map elements on the right, on the left, depending on how you want it. When you're happy with your map, if it looks more or less how you'd like it to look, you will then export it. You can export it as an image or as an SVG or also as a PDF. In this example, we'll just simply export it as a JPEG and say save.
once it has exported, you'll be able to view it in your map, in your um, Windows Explorer. And uh, that will be it. Just waiting now for these the image to draw. And there we are. A very basic map of your project that you have just completed.